Do you want to organize, manage and write your video blog posts in Scrivener but don't know where to start? Posting online can be pretty intensive, especially when you're trying to stick to a regular content calendar or an upload schedule. Finding good ideas is one thing, but tracking all your topics and ideas and then managing them from concept to production and publication is another. Planning your editorial calendar and having a good roadmap helps you to work throughout the entire process more efficiently. Hi, this is Kaz from Scrivener Quick Start where I help you organize your projects and get more done faster using Scrivener. And in this training I'm going to show you how you can use my Scrivener video blogging or vlogging template or you can follow my steps to create your own. You'll find a link to my Scrivener templates page in the description below so that you can download the template we're working on today and you'll find instructions on the same page to upload it to your Scrivener app and add your own spin to it. If you open Scrivener from scratch, you'll see the project templates window. But if you have an existing project open, go to File, New Project. You'll find the vlogging template in the Quick Start tab or the Miscellaneous tab. Open it as a new project. If you want to add the contents of the template to an existing project, if you have Merge All Windows toggled on, drag the project template off and place it above the project you want to add to. Create a vlog folder inside the existing project and check whether or not your existing project has a document templates folder because you can only have one document templates folder active in a project at a time. This screenplay template came with one and it's called the template sheets folder. Select all the folders you want from the vlogging template with the exception of the document templates folder and drag them into your vlogging folder. Then select only the sub-documents from within the document templates folder and drag them inside the template sheets folder of the existing project. Then delete the vlog template project. But in this case I'll use the vlog template as a standalone vlogging project. First let's deal with organization. Decide whether you want to post on a calendar schedule, in which case rename this document to the current year. or by topic, in which case change the document title to your topic. If you're covering several topics, create new folders below this one and name them. Now if you look inside the document templates folder, you'll find a calendar schedule template for the next year. This is just a document with the months laid out. Select the previous year and go to Project, New from Template. Navigate to the calendar schedule and add it. Name it for the new year. The next thing you need to do is come up with some ideas for your vlog. So open this ideas folder. Go to project, new from template. And this time we're going to choose the idea research template. Replace the word idea with your topic. Drag it into your Vlog Topic Ideas folder, expand it and you'll see each idea has its own file for collecting research and media assets. Simply place your cursor in the editing area of any of them and begin to type or paste in your information. Open your Inspector menu and bookmark links to further research or documents so that everything you need to create the post will follow this folder. In later versions of Scrivener, use the Bookmarks tab here. In earlier versions, use the Document References tab. They work in a very similar way. Click on the three dots More icon or the Gear icon and I'm going to link to a folder on my hard drive that contains my intro and outro clips, the sound effects I want to use and any B-roll for this particular post. Scrivener will list your links in the top window and you can preview whatever you have selected in the bottom window. 
This applies to audio files as well as images and videos. Let's close the inspector window for now as we don't need it. Open a new template every time you have any inspiration for a topic you could talk about and start collecting research as and when you can. Once an idea looks as if it will be viable, drag its folder into the shortlist folder. So sometime in the near future we're going to create a post about this topic. Once you've done all your research and gathered all the images and other media assets for a post and it's ready for action, move it into your schedule. If it's an idea for something that's seasonal, drag it into the appropriate month. If you are vlogging by topic, drag it into the topic folder. But if you already have subtopics here, drag it into the most appropriate one. And then you are ready to create your post. Most vlogs are about a particular niche, so I've created a separate file for keyword research because chances are any keyword research you do on one idea will pertain to some, if not all, your other posts. Then, keep a file containing links to all the places you want to send your viewers to so that they're at hand whenever you create a post. If you're running vlogs about several different topics, then simply create a new keywords file and links file for each topic. This last folder is your vlogging roadmap, which is a series of index cards. Make sure you're in corkboard mode to see them properly. Where you see sub documents stacked below an index card, double click on its icon to expand the sub documents. Hit the back arrow to go back to the previous screen. A roadmap is basically just a familiar, repeatable process you can use every time to help you prepare and schedule multiple pieces of contents in advance and make it easier to write the transcript for a post. Read through it to see if it fits your style of blogging and add your own spin to it. To write up a post, split your screen vertically. On Mac, hold down Option to convert the button to vertical. On Windows, you'll see both options. Adjust your screens so that you'll see one index card at a time in the right-hand screen. Now place your cursor inside the second screen and set it to Scrivening's mode. Select your Topic Research folder from your Schedule folder so that the template we choose will open directly below it. Go to Project new from template and choose the transcript template. Name it for the subject and add post to differentiate it from the research folder. Now begin to write up your transcript following the instructions on the index cards in your roadmap. I like to leave the title till after the transcript is written in case the post goes in a slightly different direction. The next step is to come up with as many subheadings as you can for the topic. The best place to do this is in the binder. First, place your cursor in the split where you want to do your editing. Select the subheading file in the binder and replace it with your own subheading. Hit return and enter the subheading for your next idea. And so on until you have as many subheadings as you can think of. Pick subheadings at random or as you think of things to add to them and free write everything you know about that subheading. For vlogging, you could write down bullet points and chat about them or you could write out a full transcript and follow it word for word. But in both cases, if you structure your content right, you'll maximize your watch time and the value for your viewers and you'll also make your job of creating the video much easier. This is where you find out that some subheadings need a whole video of their own and some subheadings are beyond the scope of what you're talking about in the current video. Move ideas that don't belong into your vlog topic ideas folder in the binder. Rearrange your subheadings into the most logical order in the binder as you go along. Place the most exciting info at the top to hook your readers in and don't forget to add a call to action at the bottom. Adding and rearranging this information might take hours or days. 
Keep selecting the overall folder in the binder to see everything you've written so far in one screen. And keep following the prompts in the index cards. There's nothing stopping you from tweaking them to suit your style. If you see cards stacked on top of each other, that's a folder. Double click on the folder icon to view its subfolders. If you see the three dots more indicator, double click inside the index card to see the scroll bar. Follow the instructions and then hit the back button in the header bar to go back to the rest of the roadmap. You can toggle between your instructions and your information files in the second screen. Open your keyword research and see how many of your best keywords can be inserted into your content because YouTube will be able to see your keywords in the closed captions of the video. Once again, skip back to the roadmap using the back arrows. Once you've followed the structure roadmap, arranged your subheadings in their best order in the binder and written them up in the editor, place your cursor inside the editor, select all your subheadings and go to Document, Merge to create one long transcript. You can't undo this, but don't worry if you change your mind about the subject order, you can still copy and paste. Rename it Transcript. Click inside the split icon to return to one screen. And this next step is optional but very useful. To explain, I'm going to need the inspector window. Creating vlogging content has a lot more steps beyond writing the post, so I like to use Scrivener's Labels feature to help me keep track of the status of each step in the process. This helps a lot when you want to batch process a particular job like creating YouTube thumbnails. If you're an old hand at Scrivener and you're wondering why I don't use status stamps, it's because I want to see my documents labeled in the binder. Open the Labels drop-down menu at the bottom of the Inspector window and click on Edit. These are the labels I use. To convert them to your own workflow, simply double click inside any label and rename it. To add labels of your own, hit the plus symbol and add a label. Say I was using someone else's recording space or equipment for my vlog, I would add a label for booked. Hit OK to accept the changes. Now you can select any document and label it by right clicking and choosing a label from the drop down menu. This transcript is ready to shoot. I've paused and added labels to the rest of the documents for this post. As you complete tasks, relabel your documents. Once the entire post is created and uploaded to your chosen platform, label it Released. This may not seem like a big deal after a couple of posts, but once you have a lot of videos, it's really useful to be able to scan through your posts and be able to tell at a glance which ones are still in production and which are complete. Label your research folders if you want to, so that they stand out from your posts. Create an entire research folder if you want to, but I like to keep the research folder and the post folder together in case people ask questions about the content years later. And that's how to get the best out of this Scrivener vlogging template. I hope it helps you to get your head around all the tasks you need to perform and keep track of when creating and sharing your knowledge via video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to keep track of all your social media posts in Scrivener, where you can keep all your information about optimum image sizes, word counts and best practices, as well as write and store everything you want to say in every post right inside the same project. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.